Hello. Today I'm going to talk about how to find a working strategy to purchase a coin with. When you first start Jackrabbit, its settings can be quite overwhelming, and not knowing where to actually go can be quite challenging. So today I'm going to go through a couple of pointers on how to actually try to find something that works. Now we're going to use Bitcoin since that's everybody's favorite coin to trade. And I'm going to use the Jackrabbit strategy. It's a link you receive in your welcome package after you've signed up the Patreon and I can get everything set up. So let's go all the way down here to the strategy. And now it's loading with Jackrabbit's default settings, which may or may not be profitable for this coin. And as it sits right now, the default settings, it does one trade. And it's that one single trade will make $148, it says. So, for the strategy tester, let's go see what the default settings are. Okay, that's the properties. Here's the actual default settings. Risk mitigation is on. Red green analysis is on. Sideways analysis is on. And technical analysis is on. And Dagger Watch is on, and Spear Watch is on. Now, where do we go from here to make this actually show something? Well, Jack Rabbit defaults to its most conservative state, its most protective state. So let's start with the very first thing that is part of that protection system, risk mitigation. Heavy can be pretty extreme and pretty lengthy. So let's take heavy and downgrade it to a medium risk mitigation. And now in a few minutes, the chart will refresh. As you can see, now with medium risk mitigation, the current settings say it will take a $430 loss or minus 0.43%. And it shows on the chart some various trades, longs and shorts. Close this for a minute. So here we go, longs and shorts. Let's go through this. Let's actually look at this. You can see roughly where it would actually place its trades. All fine and well, not here to lose money. So let's see if the five minute chart is any better. Each time you click on a different time frame, you'll get a different analysis. Okay, nothing happens at all on a five minute chart. Let's go to a 15 minute chart. See if it pulls up any data. Nope, the 15 minute chart is quiet as well. So right now, the market is not in a good state with this particular mindset, meaning technical analysis. So let's take a look at turning off sideways analysis. Now sideways analysis keeps Jackrabbit from trading when the market is kind of like this flat. Now it doesn't look flat visually, but when you look at it mathematically, this is considered a flat market. Let's turn off sideways analysis and see if the chart changes. And it did. 
And now we have what we want to see. The 15 minute chart is profitable and we see entries and exits. Of course, it's only doing two trades according to the simulator. And if you click on summary, it gives you an idea that there were no long trades and only short trades. Well, that's not exactly what we want either, but this is a good start. Let's see if the five minute chart is any better. Okay, the five minute chart says one trade. That's not really realistic with what it's showing. So there are certain limitations for sure. As you can see, it only shows one trade. But that is something to be aware of when you're looking at the strategy for trading view. It isn't always accurate in its assessment but it does at least give us a starting point that we can work with. Because once we have this part figured out, we can actually go to a paper trader and start testing the whole picture with dollar cost averaging, with safeties, stop losses, all the things necessary to actually trade. So five minutes seems to be the best one. Let's see if we can't make this a little more reasonable. Okay, so let's scroll down into the technical analysis system. Oops, knocked myself out. Now you can use either this gear or this gear for the strategy engine. Okay, moving averages. Let's move this to a medium and see if we can improve our trades. Not bad, we're up to three closed trades. And it says that each trade will take 4,000 candlesticks. I don't know how realistic these numbers are, but the fact that this main number here is showing us a rough net profit of 4%, that's a good starting point to work with. But let's see if we can maybe tune it a little more. Maybe we can get a little bit more out of it or even get some more realistic trades. Okay, now we want three buy signals and one sell signal. So we want three confirmations and the first opportunity we get to sell it, we want to be able to sell it off. So let's go with, let's say, oh, well, let's make the Williams percent R a light interpretation and see how well it works. Okay, we're up to five trades, but this is really what we need to do is back and forth and actually see what actually works to get an idea of how well things will go. And from here, we can move to the next part. Let's go with the, an aggressive side, but not totally aggressive. Okay, we're up to 11 trades, but we're still making a profit. So we're doing pretty reasonably well here. Now, one thing I do need to caution you with is the strategy designer is going to give you different results than the indicator. So once you have your basic idea here, then we need to actually take these settings into the jackrabbit indicator. So let's see what we have. 
Let's try this for example. So, risk mitigation, red green analysis, and technical analysis. Now, Spear Watch and Dagger Watch are default on to begin with. We'll leave those alone for now. So, now that we have this, and we have a rough blueprint to work with, 96% profitable according to TradingView Strategy Designer. A word of caution, realistically, this is not correct. It will probably be over 51%, but this value is just not realistic. So let's close out the strategy. Let's go get the indicator. Now, if you're not adept like I am to remembering things, write it down in your trader's journal. And if you don't know what a trader's journal is, I've got an article inside my Patreon account that talks about that. And that's basically keeping track of everything you do so you can reproduce it. Take notes. A lot of them. Okay, should have loaded. Probably end up with three or four copies loading. Yep, loaded two copies. Close one, we don't need but just one copy. Go into the settings. Now we turn sideways off. Left all the rest of this the same. We put this to medium and then we tuned all of these to light. This is medium, this is light. This is light. This is light. And this is light. Okay, now that we've got the tunings, let's save it and let's take a look. Well, buy here, sell here, that's a profit. Buy here, sell here, that's a profit. I hear probably dollar cost average down here will sell up here. A profit. Not a very big profit, but it's still a profit. So as we move forward and through this, you'll see these signals are a little bit more than what the strategy tester shows. The strategy tester is not capable of showing all of these kind of metrics. Now this is a pretty good strategy to work with. Something to begin testing with. Something that we want to start with a paper trader on or a paper bot. For that, we just go into our alerts. We'll set them up. And you'll see I set one up here. I'll get rid of the test. And you'll just establish your alert by clicking on a plus sign. Now there's a Patreon video that walks through this process with Crypto Hopper and, an art and three comments. There's also an article that talks about it specifically for Crypto Hopper in dealing with the Crypto Hopper external application. It's very easy, very simple. I'm going to walk through this part of it though. One thing that you must do with your very first thing 
always change your condition to jackrabbit. So now, whatever your settings are here, will automatically be used to establish your alert. Make sure you're on the time frame you want. Double check your coin. Make sure you buy once per bar close. This is important to keep your signals from just firing off constantly and flooding your bot. Now, unless you have the premium subscription, you won't see this. Instead, you'll see this. For all subscriptions except the premium, your usual timeout is about a month to two months before the alert self expires. If you have the premium subscription, it never expires. But it may not be worth getting it because it's a very expensive subscription. Your webhook. This is important as this is what lets you trade with your bot, whether it's Crypto Hopper or Three Commas. And then finally, the message that your trading platform gives you. Both Crypto Hopper and Three Commas have their own unique messages. You can see part of it here for Crypto Hopper and part of it here for Three Commas. So make sure each of your messages is appropriate. Check and double check. That is the key thing. It's very easy to get things mixed up and would sell something when you really want to buy it or buy something when you really want to sell it. It sounds like a joke, but it's not. All too often with complex settings, I've gotten them reversed personally. So selling and buying, double check everything when you're setting up your markers. And you'll see here, one buy setting, one sell setting. So it's real simple to get lost along the way. That's why your trader's journal is important. Of course, once you've got everything checked and you've double checked it, create your alert. You will get this warning because Jackrabbit is always pulling real time data. And so that can cause some crazy effects on the screen because of it. But for the most part, you're not going to be anything you need to worry about. A properly tuned strategy with a properly configured bot will not have issues. So click on continue. And you will see at the top that it made the alert I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this alert. Now the green lights mean they're ready to fire. After they've fired, you'll see a red light for the rest of the candlestick. In this case, I'm using one minute, except for a few, like this one's five minutes. And of course, you'll see your logs for your last signals. Even though you may not see an indicator here, it will show up here so that you can compare that with your bot and make sure things are actually working properly. Trading view is easy. Linking it to either Crypto Hopper or Three Commas is easy as both of them provide you with the messages you need. Once you've done all that, just sit back and wait for it to work as long as you've got it all done right. That's where you need to double check everything along the way. And most importantly, when you're trying to figure out what's going to make you a profit, take your time. You always want the buys under the sells as much as possible. 
sometimes, like these two, this will probably be a loss. That's normal. You're going to take losses. But overall, you want to look at the average. Overall, you want your profits. Now, I chose one sell signal because I want to sell it off. You can try to tune your sell signals, but I don't recommend it at first. Because the more sell signals you require, the higher the risk and the less likely you are to actually get out of it before something like this happens. And let's see if I can find an example of that. Okay, here's the one hour chart. Here's a sell signal. I'm going to make a modification here that's going to create some more signals so I can demonstrate some of the problems you want to be aware of. Now, I don't recommend you use light risk mitigation unless you have a very strong appetite for risk. Okay. And let's tune this down a little more. Make it a little more aggressive. Again, I don't recommend this. Okay, here's an example, buy, sell. Buy, the buy is actually above the sell. Well, this will be a loss. That's normal. You're going to aggregate and average your profits appropriate to the large numbers of buys and sells. Jackrabbit was not designed to win every single trade. It was designed to win the average. That may not seem intuitive at first, but any market strategy tells you a win every single trade is lying to you. It's not realistically possible to win every single trade. You are going to lose some. That is just the way the market is. It's fair to say an algorithm will always produce an average profit, but it will never win every single trade. Here's another example. All of these here will be a loss. Let me say it again. It buys here, buys here, buys here, buys here, buys here, sells here. This is going to be a loss. It's naturally going to be that way. You could use a trailing stop loss and not a sell by signal, and then you might make a profit here from the average. But you're going to have to time it right and try to figure out mathematics. The easiest way is the organic process, which just lets the strategy sell for you, meaning these indicators automatically happen. So win, lose, or draw, mathematics will always make the decision without emotion, without interference, and without any interruptions to what the mathematics represent. I personally believe this is the best way because you're not stuck with positions 20, 30, and 40% underwater. As you progress, you do your testing. First step is the strategy. Second step is the indicator. 
third step is creating the alert. It's that easy. Take your time, keep records, and you'll be easily, before you know it, you'll be coming up with strategies that will be far more advanced than this. For example, one good strategy that works well, instead of using risk mitigation, Let's turn off risk mitigation and let's go get the pivot hunter. This works very well. Now let's go tune the pivot hunter. Okay. Here we are, there's the pivot hunter, 1-1. One, one. What does that mean? Well, that means we go to Jackrabbit's visual script. Again, you're given all this information in your welcome package. And we actually see what that means. That means a mess right here. Well, let's overlay it on the first chart. So move to existing pane above. Now we have two price tables. That's a mess. So we come down here and we simply merge them all into one table. There we go. Now let's Hijack Rabbit for a moment and let's tune the Pivot Hunter. Well, this is just too many buys. If we did all these buys, we'd be bankrupt in a matter of no time. So, let's cut this down. There we go, and now let's give us some reasonable results for selling. Okay, there we go. So four, three. A level four buy and a level three sell. That actually looks pretty good, and it produces a consistent profit. So, Come back up here, turn that back on, close this out, and now that might have seemed confusing, and as, as you grow in Jackrabbit and you repeat those kind of steps, it won't be. Four, three. Visual scripts help you see what's going on. And now we have a solution. This is a very nice profit right here. This is still a loss, but not as big of one. Okay, down here, we have some more profits. With this very simple process, letting your keyboard don't run away with you. This very simple process, you can make reasonable profits. Let's click and drag. Okay, so as you can see, now we have a system that works very well and it does produce some considerable profits. So let's take a look at our settings again. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit here for a few seconds, and I'm gonna scroll it.
Jackrabbit is meant to be visual with its visual scripts. Those visual scripts help you by not having to figure out all the mathematics. All you have to do is look at the pretty pictures to figure out what looks good. Just remember that most of the time, your B's have to be below your S's. You always buy low and sell high. Now, there will be a few times, like I just showed you, where that's not going to happen. That's fine. As long as you have more times that it does happen. Over time, as you start experimenting with these, and you start looking at the visual scripts, you start seeing combinations that become easy to work with. And you'll probably develop a few basic starting points that you always like to start with for your trading. Nice and easy. Now I do want to talk about one thing that's on this page here. I'm not going to go into a lot of the detail of it right now because I don't want to throw too much out there. But as you progress, take a look at the dead man switch. It can help you avoid cascading down purchases. Like what we've had recently in the last markets, where you just get this long run of the price going down. Very easy process, very simple. Take your time and try different combinations. You never know what you might find if that works well. Until next time.